Hello, Chris McGee with the Friedrich Air Conditioning Product Management Team. I wanted to give you a really quick step-by-step -step on how to connect your Floating Air Pro and Premier DSS systems to Wi-Fi using the Friedrich Go app. So in order to add a device, you simply press Add Device on the screen. This will take you to the device selection. Uh, since we are talking about the ductless, uh, we're going to hit the Floating Air Pro and Premier. And at this point, you're going to have to get your indoor ready to connect to the Wi-Fi. So the way you do it is you're going to hit the left and right swing six times. Six. After six times, the unit's going to respond to you with five short beeps. The Wi-Fi symbol is going to flash on the display and 7-7 will also show on that display. If you see this, your, your unit is ready to connect and pair into your Wi-Fi system. So let's follow the next steps here. So here you're going to enter your, uh, your SSID. Your SSID is your home's network name. Okay, so in my case, it's Test Friedrich DSS. You go ahead and type in your password. And I want to, I want to mention this is only for 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. So once you've done that, hit confirm. A notification, notification is going to come up to remind you, you are connecting to a 2.4. If you aren't sure about that, you can always go back and change your network. Okay, so let's go ahead and click continue. Uh, now we're going to have to connect to the phone's Wi-Fi to the device's hotspot. So the, the device's module is going to give off its own signal. In this case, it's going to be a Friedrich with some numbers after it. So let's go connect. Okay, there it is, Friedrich 4436. Let's go ahead and click that. I do want to mention that your device, if it's never done this before, it's going to give you a dialog box that's going to say, do you want to trust this network or a trusted network? Go ahead and do that. This is not going to be, it's going to connect to Wi-Fi, but that Wi-Fi does not have internet. So while your device is checking the quality of your internet, give it some time. There we go. It's connected without internet now. So you hit the back button on your device, and now it's actually going to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Uh, this should be really, really quick. If for any reason it takes too long, you may be too far away, you may be having connection issues with your Wi-Fi. So there we go. Device was added successfully. McGee Garage is the name of it. You can always change the name of your device if you'd like, uh, of, your, of your unit. Uh, in my case, this one is in the garage. So let's go ahead and, and uh, go completed. All right, so now we are actually connected. It's 75 degrees in the space. Let's say you want to cool it down. You go ahead and adjust with the plus and the minus. If you click mode, you will see all of the different modes, cool, heat, dry, and fan. You can go to your fan speeds, pick whichever one you'd like. It's currently set to auto. The functions are going to be your, uh, your louver swing up and down or left and right. Uh, surge mode or an economy mode or sleep mode uh, if you want it to set back when you go to bed. Uh, there's also a disable heat mode here, which means that the unit will uh, essentially disable your heat and its logic uh, so you can have a cooling only unit if that's what the space requires. Okay. And then you can also go to timer. So when we go to timer, you can add yourself a timer, click timer on. For when you want it to come on, we're going to go to mode, is, and that's cool. Fan speed is auto. Set temperature is 61. Uh, this is going to be in 24 hours. So go ahead and adjust it to the time that you prefer. Let's just do uh, 1.30 here. And let's click Monday through Friday. That's your work week. Uh, what you're going to want to do is click save. And so now 1.30 on working days, the unit is going to come on in cooling with a fan speed of auto and cool down to 61 degrees. And you can also add the, uh, the off mode if you prefer. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go back one more. So here is your main screen. Uh, I just need to refresh my device to show that it's there. Uh, what is kind of nice, it does give you the weather uh, in your area because when you log in, you're going to log into your address and where you are in the country. Uh, there are a lot of settings that can be changed, so just uh, feel free to play around with the app. 
and uh, don't be afraid to uh, learn it. Uh, please reach out to Friedrich if you have any more questions. Thanks. Have a great day. Uh, please reach out to Friedrich if you have any more questions. Thanks. Have a great day. It has to be a Friedrich, the experts in room air conditioning.